Hey guys, welcome back to the main event. I'm Daniel, and tonight we're uh, are we going back to WF? Are we? I think we're going back to WF. Yeah, and it is uh, for SummerSlam 1995. Face the heat. That's right. Good summer. It's hot. Uh, anyway, so <clears throat> we're going back to uh, August 27th, 1995 at the Civic Arena in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we're in front of like 18,000 plus, I believe. In the main event of the evening, world title match, King Mabel with Sir Mo in his corner going up against Diesel. Um, so to, to build this match, you know, Mabel won the King of the Ring, thus become King Mabel, and got himself a title shot for the world title. Uh, at the uh, In Your House 2, when Diesel fought uh, Sid in the uh, Lumberjack match, King Mabel was one of the Lumberjacks that Sid picked. And, of course, during that match, King Mabel beat the shit out of Diesel. Just threw him into the post, slammed him, beat the shit out of him. Uh, despite that, however, Diesel still won. So, the next night on Raw, Diesel took on Sir Mo in a match. Now, during that match, Mabel came out to try to cause a distraction. However, Shawn Miles came out to kind of even things up a little bit. Uh, Diesel would go on to beat Sir Mo. Uh, however, afterwards, Mabel just destroyed Diesel and Shawn Michaels in the middle of the ring. Um, as we were getting closer to SummerSlam, um, you know, Diesel was backstage talking, and uh, out came uh, British Bulldog, and he says, you know what, we should team up and take on Men on a Mission together. So Diesel agreed. So the main event of that Raw was... Uh, British Bulldog and Diesel going against uh, King Mabel and Sir Moe. And during that match, Dave Boy Smith turned on Diesel. Turned on Big Dad Cool. Beat him down. And boom, that was it. Three on one attack after that. And that's what led into this match right here. So this match usually gets a lot of shit. Uh, for being one of the worst pay-per-view main events of all time. Uh, a low point in SummerSlam, just in general. It's funny because the same people who will bitch about how, uh, you know, the world... And I'm one of them that's always like, you know, the world title should always go on last. I mean, I'm one of them that always says that, but I don't bitch about this one. But anyway, everybody's like, you know, the world title should always go on last. And then they'll always be like, well, except in this case. They're like, literally, the casket match, the ladder match, any of those two would have been better main events. Um, and I'll disagree. I'm not, I'm not saying matches. I mean, obviously, the other two matches are better than this. But it's still your world title. I mean, if you if the match is going bad and clearly Diesel's not doing the job, you put someone else in the, in the position. You don't just keep riding it out. But besides that, uh, so this match usually gets a lot of shit. And uh, this match is just kind of a kick and punch fest. It's very slow. Uh, just two big guys clobbering the hell out of each other. Uh, Mo interferes quite a bit. Uh, Mabel slamming around. I just remember I read in, the, in a... Uh, or I didn't read, sorry, saw a uh, shoot interview with Nash, and he said, like, Mabel did this thing where he dropped down on his opponent's backs, and he does this and this, and I guess, like, it really hurt Diesel, like, it, you know, fuck him up, uh, and they told him don't do that, but he did anyways. Uh, Diesel put the rope again? I, I, I just don't remember Diesel or Nash ever doing that, where he just flies over the rope onto his opponents, and he does it in this one, too. It's awkward, and he doesn't get much air, but goddamn, it's just awesome. I'm mean, like, it's 7 foot, 300 pounds of Diesel coming down on you. I don't care who you are, you're fucking going down. Uh, so I, I like that. Uh, toward the end of this match, Luger comes out, because Mo is interfering like a bastard in this entire thing, and the uh, outcomes, uh, Luger to try to even it up a little bit. And then in the end, uh, Diesel comes back, goes up to the middle rope, comes off with like a shoulder tackle clothesline thing. One, two, three, Diesel retains the title. Uh, the fallout from this match after this, King Mabel would drop back down the card and he would uh, go on to feud with The Undertaker shortly after this. Uh, and then Diesel uh, would team up with Michaels and they would actually go into the triple header match at the next In Your House against uh, Dave Boy Smith and uh, Yokozuna. Owen Hart's involved as well, but you know we'll we'll talk we'll talk about that match later on this weekend. So uh, yeah, so one thing about this match, I think this match gets a lot of unnecessary shit. Now, well, is this a pretty match? No, not at all. I mean, this is not a technical masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination. It is a lot of kicking and punching, uh, and it's pretty slow paced. But I don't think it deserved. I mean, maybe because I I never say this is the first time I ever watched it. So like, I literally went my entire life, or I guess my entire adult internet watching live, uh, hearing everybody just shit all over this match about how horrible it was. And I was like, it really isn't that bad. Like, it really isn't. 
But once again, I'm a guy who came from the era of watching like Big John Studd and Andre Giant fight. It's not technical and beautiful. No, it's literally just two guys clubbing each other and then that's it. So, yeah, I'm sorry. For my era, yeah, I do like this kind of wrestling. It's okay. I'm good with it. Tells a good story. You know, Diesel, who's been a dominant champion thus far, is against somebody who's now bigger than him, who can out, you know, who can take him down. He ain't going to powerbomb Mabel. What's he going to do? I don't know. I, I, en I enjoyed the match for what it was. Uh, now I'm not going to sit there and be like, this, this. no, 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 obviously not. Uh, but com com compared to what WWF has been doing in 95, this is pretty good. I mean, as far as the main event scene goes, anyways. Like, I'm sorry, I'd much rather watch this than LT versus Bam Bam. And the first Sid versus Diesel match. Like, that was just atrocious. I'd almost put this above the tag match at King of the Ring. But that's just me. Uh, either way, though, uh, yeah, uh, it, it is what it is. I do understand why people hate it, but fans today, if you're not doing Osprey uh, ricochet flippy shit, then they tend to hate it. And I can see why everybody just shits on this. But Diesel, or, sorry, Nash has some bad stigma with him anyways. Like, people are just like, no matter if it's just Nash in general, they just want to shit on him. So, uh, which I think is very unfair. But uh, anyway, but no, this, this I think this match is okay. It's, uh, like I said, it's not great, but it's not bad either. So, uh, so yeah, there it is. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this match. Drop your hateful comments down below. Shit, take a big shit all over this thing. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Guys, tune in tomorrow night. We go to WCW for Fall Brawl. I uh, love me some Fall Brawl. Uh, so that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Until next time.